now. All right, guys. All right, guys. All right. All right. So. All right. All right, guys. Yep. All right. All right, guys. All right. All right. So. Okay, boys. You got something to say, Forty? Yeah. Hi. Welcome back, Gunners. How's the sun? Right here. It's in my eyes. Welcome back, Gunners. See the glow. As you can see, we drove Manolo here. <laughs> Chill out with the plate. I, uh -oh. thought, I thought you introduced it. I was taking clips. No, nah, I didn't. I didn't introduce it. You can run uh, that clip. I'll show you Trappy's clips. Anyway, we're here down the street from Mike's because parking is hell. We're going to finally align this car. We're using our honed uh, recommendations. And basically, um, I'll tell you one thing, Trap. Car solid. It, it looks solid, bro. It looks solid. solid driving down the road. Looks good. I thought we were going to need bump stops. We might need them in the future, but no. I hit some really good potholes on purpose. The dampening settings all the way on soft and... Sturdy? Sturdy? Really, really sturdy, man. Really Hell sturdy yeah. car. It's money. It's good. It's it a well-built machine, Trap. It didn't pass 140 degrees, Trap. <laughs> Well-built machine, man. It didn't pass well 140 machine. degrees, and it's not that cold today. It's pretty yeah. warm, but um, we're just waiting to get onto the alignment rack, and uh, we'll set it off. Like the video. Did you like? Did you comment? Did you subscribe? Let's start gunning. We outside, man. Damn. Corny, we love you. We love you. We're on the rack, guys. We're on the rack. We are here. Man, this car looks so good. It's like... It doesn't have much, you know? Just... It's silver. <laughs> With some aftermarket stuff, but... We're gonna get this car situated. Uh, we'll just help Mike knock out whatever he needs to do as far as work. He just finished powder coating on this Hellcat right here. And, um... You know, before we occupy his time, this guy's not going to charge me, and that's why I hate coming here. Um, but yeah, help Mike as much as we can, then we'll worry about Manolo in the field. What type of state-of-the-art contraption is Mike running over here? Look at this. See the state-of-the-art contraption this guy's got going on over here? What's going on? I'm not minding my business. Yo, all I'm saying is, um, I was in charge of cleaning Mike's wrench drawer. The most racks, the most wrenches I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, y'all yeah, ain't being this guy. It was totally by eye. <laughs> it was totally by eye. Jesus Christ, trap up. Oh my God. I mean, the camera isn't no, way off. Stop recording. Yo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He, he's the one that be Man, slipping. Got one green, got one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something's better than nothing. What do you say it was it back here? It's uh, 1.5 uh, toe in. Right now, guys, what we're doing is we're getting we're getting the home um, toe arm centered so that we could use the teeth to actually move it because it has different placements in it for plus and minus. But we want to get it zeroed on the chassis here where the 14 goes through. And then from there, we'll loosen, we'll loosen this toe and then move it to where we want to move it, which is 
from their suggestions, which is right here, it's um, 1.5 millimeter toe in, positive. And then our camber is a negative two camber. They said that this is uh, a great um, startup, basically, uh, alignment for a first time, you know, builds. We'll see how it goes. Okay, guys, so we were suggested to go negative 150 toe in the rear, negative two. Mike pulled out his measuring tape, pause, and seen that, you know, actually from factory, the chassis, how far off from left to right, Mike? An eighth. An eighth. So we lose the distance from actually going to negative 150. So we left it at negative, um, no, it's not negative, it's positive, I'm sorry. Positive 127 on the toe here and if we do race and decide that we need more toe in we'll just open this up a little bit more and then find our 150 so we can get our 150 here we can't get it here because just from factory the chassis isn't actually squared but we're pretty much done with the rear so anyone out there that needs any information um, home development rear camber kit along with the toe adjuster negative two camber positive one five zero if you can get yours to one five zero do it so we're looking for a negative two and a half on that camber caster we won't be able to adjust we don't have a traction bar on it traps trying to move it I need to get like a mallet or something to hit the top. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's not much, so we just right here we need it to be negative two and a half, which is a lot, but they're saying that's what you should go out there with. Probably still a little tight, pause. All right, let us get that camber right. Hey guys, where's the ball? <laughs> you took, you got the clip, guys. Why you need me? I thought you was, I thought you was gonna, you was gonna hit him with something. Um, I don't know, man. We're pretty, we're pretty done, trap. I think the, our biggest differences are between like point zero seven and like point zero two. It's our first time in line. I think, yeah, I think we should go out like that and if we'll notice differences I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be a great the learning car curve. settles it honestly catches up to this number yeah which is supposed to be negative two and a half but um again I don't know what the fuck I'm doing <laughs> <laughs> we're just we're just learning here guys well ladies and gentlemen that's our final numbers so we'll go out on a track somewhere we'll see what else it needs We'll do some adjustments. Most of the stuff is um, adjustable that we'll be able to, you know, either add or take away camber or add or take away toe. But for the most part, that's where we're at. It's close to Hone's um, recommendations. The reason I'm down right now is because it's cold as a mother. It's freezing. And I have to drive home a sealed car with no heat. Wish me luck. Okay. Ride back was really, really weird. It feels like the car is like fighting left and right as I'm driving straight or hitting a bump. But um, Trap says that might be because of the aggressive toe in on the rear. So honestly, I didn't like the way it just felt on the ride home, to be honest with you guys. Um, again, maybe I'm not used to it. Maybe that's how it's supposed to feel to corner and turn better, but not for my liking. So 
I've got a little bit more research to do. The car does run straight. It's perfectly fine, so I can tune it. it the front wheels aren't going to fight against each other, so, you know, it won't affect dynoing. But I definitely want to realign this car, maybe get it back to more like a squared uh, driving. And then as I get better, as we learn the car more, maybe add more aggressive um, alignments to it. But all in all, it drove great. Like the map that Jamie gave me, incredible. Like I feel like I can race the car right now. It has no hiccups, no stutter, no flat spots in the throttle. I don't know, real confusing day. Guess me and Trap got some talking to do in the garage, pause. We're gonna double check this suspension. I think we're gonna go back to a zero setting trap. Yeah. It, because it looked, it that looked toe, aggressive. Yeah. That toe was way too far in, man. Yeah. I don't know. Again, maybe it feels good. Maybe on the track, on maybe the track, like yeah. driving aggressive, but <clears throat> I I seen it from yeah, like we outside. could see it like like the whole car is like on this side of the tire. You yeah. can see it like Again, maybe that's really good for like serious racing, but like we need to learn this. I don't, we don't, I don't think we should jump in with like these crazy settings right now. And especially after seeing how the car looked, like it looked a little weird. Over the ride now. there before felt great. Yeah, it wasn't as bad. <laughs> yeah, I I'm like, tell, just the way the car was going over bumps and just fighting from like the toe, I, mm -hmm. think, I think we should go to a zero setting. Yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll ask around some questions. But car did good today driving. Didn't go past 140. On the way back, it hit 160. But again, not aggressive. You know, we're not killing the car, but you know, it'll be soon. It'll be soon to where we can put this car to its limits and understand it, so. Yeah. Well, it needs an oil change before the dyno. That's it, we're ready for dyno. Yeah. We're gonna wire up tomorrow. We'll just do some cleanup. We'll wire up our uh, One of mirrors. mirrors. Um, maybe swap our door hinges so we can have quick release door hinges. Oh yeah. yeah. Might as well since we have the parts here, we might as and well just. We can button up before Dino. I mean, yeah. Dino is gonna that. most likely be next week. Trap. We got um, a pretty busy rest of the week. So I said we just finish off the car a million percent. Yeah. And then just get get it race ready. I don't know, Gunners, let me know what you think in the comments, man. Let me know if these, if you guys have dealt with these uh, aggressive alignments. Um, again, we're at negative two and a half in the front. We're at negative two in the rear, right? Yeah. We're at one, 1.50 in tow, yeah. but we only got to max it to like 127. But yeah, but they're even. Like yeah, they're even at 127. I don't know. Again, new world for us. That concludes today's vlog. Finally got some heat trap. No. Mike's garage felt like an ice box. Yeah, Mike's crazy. Mike's smart. He had a draft going. He's smart. Yeah. I know That's what you do with. when you want people to leave. You just make it uncomfortable. Because yeah, yeah. if it was warm in there, you know, it'd be oh, yeah. no, You smart. No one. I wanted to get the hell out of there. I yeah, said, man, it's freezing. To do this nigga got 80 foot doors, wide open. Wide open, all the way to the top. Trap. There's no work. He's only working on the BMW. Shit, low. <laughs> That's crazy. Guys, we love you. Enjoy the rest of your week. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your evening. We appreciate you. Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And make sure you keep gunning. Love you. Catch you next time.